there. This is Carrie from Stampa CT. Happy Wednesday and happy 7th of December, y'all. Oh my goodness. This month is already flying by as well. Um, we have already begun um, some things at work that we have to write 2023. It's going to be weird. Just saying. Well, I will wait just a minute for Facebook to give some notifications so some people can hop on with me live. And I want to say welcome to the replay crew. So if you are watching the replay, you're catching this part of the video, just want to let you know I appreciate you being here. And I had a lot of people on the replay crew last week. You know, we had a little glitch where I had to um, do a second live video to create the project. I just started over, so a lot of people missed it live, but lots on the replay crew. Lots of comments last week. I think, oh, I don't know, five, four or five people shared the video. Lots and lots of um, hearts and thumbs up, so I so appreciate that. I don't see anybody hopping in with me just yet, but I will go ahead and let you know a little story on myself. I decided to bring in a cup of water with me to my craft room this morning, and that was not the best idea. I know better, and uh, I knocked it over, of course. So fortunately, I did not make too much of a mess. I didn't ruin anything. It just gave me a chance to clean a table really well. <laughs> oh, you guys, I am a mess sometimes. And then I went back to get some coffee. And I thought I would share this with you because I'm still working on my coffee. These are tumblers that are branded merchandise from Stampin' Up. And I don't think that I've ever shown them to you. And I've started taking this tumbler with my coffee uh, to work every day. And it does have a little slide on the top that you can close it up. So it does prevent spills. Really a cute little tumbler with the glimmer paper. It's available in the end colors from this year. And it's an awesome, awesome tumbler. It keeps my coffee warm for uh, several hours. Good morning, Mary. Thank you for, um, thank you for stopping in and commenting so I know everything's working okay. Gonna go ahead and get started. I don't like to spend too much time at the beginning talking because I know you're here for crafting. So we'll jump in and then we'll talk a little bit more um, at the end of the video and stick around because I do have a prize to give away as well. Okay, today we are making tags and I needed some. In the past, um, Tara, Dale and I have made tags for gifts for a friend group, for coworkers. It makes a really nice gift. People love these, y'all. And so it gives us a chance to use up some of our designer series paper, uh, cardstock, scraps, you know, skinny strips, and it just really works out great for everybody. But people love receiving tags as gifts. And so you can give, you know, six tags, a dozen tags. My daughter-in-law, um, it's one of her favorite things that I think we do is give her tags. And when the boys were younger, when Caleb and Ethan were younger, she would write their name on them and then she would make them give them back on Christmas Day so she could reuse them because she knew we worked hard on them and she loved them so much. So it's just kind of a tradition on our family to make tags and give tags as a gift. I have a fun um, game that we're playing at work where we are um, getting a pair of Christmas socks and then you roll up one of the socks, put it in the toe of the other, and then you put just little goodies inside. And I don't think any of my coworkers um, really watch my videos, and so I think I'm pretty safe to say I'm going to include some of the tags that we're creating today in the sock. So we have like a $20 limit, and then you just put some candies and maybe a gift card, and I'm gonna put some tags in there too. So uh, Dale found some super cute Christmas socks at Walmart yesterday. So if you're looking for a fun game, um, and then I think we're gonna draw numbers and that's how you'll decide which um, sock you get. But I've never done this before. I thought that was a super cute idea. So I wanted to share that with you in case you're 
hosting a party or going to a party or have something at work and you just want something fun. Okay, we are using lots of product today and I am not trying to overwhelm you at all. What I'm trying to do is inspire you and get your wheels rolling on what supplies you have and what you can do with them. So I am actually, you know, that I love the um, Stylish Shapes dies. These are one of my very favorite die sets. I use them probably pretty much every day in my craft room and they're just such a great investment. You could, if you have these, you could make your tags just using these dies if you don't have a punch or actual tag die. And then I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to make your own little template on how to make a tag if you don't have a tag die or punch. So many options that we have. These make great ornaments too when you um, either use a couple layers of cardstock, layer of cardstock and DSP. When you um, use thick cardstock, you can make ornaments with them. So many options. So just such a great die set. And then this is the Tailor Made Tags dies. And I actually um, am using, let me grab the right one because I'm using this more simple top. And this is the one I chose to use for all the tags today, but you can see that this other one has a little bit different topper to it. And I love that, a little bit more decorative. I love that they layer like this. You've got the different sizes in both of the toppers. Really great tag set to um, pick up if you, if you want tag dies. Sometimes we have the tag punches too, and those are great as well. If you do not have dies and you want to make a tag, I'm gonna show you a little trick right quick. So those dies, the largest ones, cut a two by four tag, and that seems to be the size that I use most often. So I'm gonna show you how to make just a little jig or a little template I've got a piece of cardstock and it really doesn't matter how big it is. You just want it to be the same width as your tag. So this is two inches. And I'm just gonna put it in at an angle and I'm not even really measuring anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing, making sure I cut that one tip off of it. So now I'll show you what I have and what I'm going to do. Let me put my trimmer back where it goes. Okay, so now we're going to just lay this on the tag that we've got in, I think this one is um, probably Poppy Parade. And we can just come across and trim it. Then we flip that little template piece over and we cut the other side. And now you have a tag. That's how easy that is. And all you need is a hole punch and you're ready to go. So if you don't have dies, if you don't have punches, don't worry about it. Make yourself a little template and make your tags that way. That's great for um, kids to do as well. Now we are using the Bows of Holly Designer Series paper today. I think this is sold out. I went quickly to my online store and could not find it. I'll show it to you quickly. We have used this a couple of times in the last few weeks, and we used it for stamp class last month. Beautiful paper, but again, you're gonna be able to substitute with what you have in your collection to make tags. So we're not gonna stress about not having the exact paper that I have. Then I've shown you this stamp set as well. This is part of the Fitting Florets collection, and we have used it a couple of times as well. Whoops, I grabbed the wrong set, didn't I? <laughs> Hold on. We're using this one too. This is the stamp set with the sentiments. There we go, now that I take a look at it. So this is a great set with beautiful fonts, beautiful messages. I really, really wanted to use this set today. That's what inspired these tags. Just really pretty sentiments. So we're using four of them. Okay, for the first tag, I'm keeping this super simple, and I pulled in the Deer Punch. This carried over um, from last year. It's an awesome punch. I know a lot of you have this punch. And I did a little bit of work ahead of time, and I have all my pieces 
in a clear envelope for each of the tags. So hopefully, because we're making four, I don't wanna keep you here all day. I would like to, but I know you guys have things to do too. So somewhere, I put my grid paper. Where did I put my grid paper? Hmm. Let's see. Oliver, Oliver's here with me. Well, I don't know where I put my grid paper, but that's okay. I don't have to have it. So here is the little tag that I created with the deer. And this one I just stamped on the designer series paper. So you can see super, super simple. And this time I used just a little dot of red glimmer paper on this deer and the antlers. So this is my Rudolph tag. And you can see what I did here was stamp the Noel on the B side of this piece of paper. So we're gonna first add our sentiment on. And I went ahead and did the stamping ahead of time, just again, so I don't keep you guys here all day, because I know you have other things to do. Let me know if y'all have finished your Christmas shopping. I am, um, I'm started. <laughs> Nowhere near finished. I'm just popping this on down at the bottom of the tag. And then we're gonna put Rudolph on. And I'm gonna use just a couple of dimensionals for Rudolph. Now I will confess to you guys that when I was doing this, I thought, you know, I'll make a boy Rudolph and I'll make a girl deer. And you know, she won't have the antlers. She doesn't have a shiny nose, but she's still super cute. And I knew that in Rudolph, the movie that I think came out when I was a kid, Long time ago, y'all. Let's pop Rudolph on here. So cute. So it looks like he's running through the little forest. So do you know Rudolph's girlfriend's name? Let me know in the comments if you do. And I'm using a couple of different ribbons today. I really love this Evening Evergreen Open Weave Ribbon. Just going to cut a little length of it. Oh, that's probably too small, but that's okay. We'll make it work. And this die cuts the hole in the top of the tag for you when you run it through your die cut machine. I need to scrunch that down good so I can get that through there. Oh, I didn't cut myself a great bit of ribbon, but let me see if I can make this work. So let me know if you know what Rudolph's girlfriend's name is. I had to Google it. I just could not remember. And I'll try to remember to tell you at the end, but somebody will get it, I'm sure, in the comments. So we've just got that cute little evening evergreen ribbon, and we already have one tag done. So we have Rudolph and his, maybe it was just his friend, but I think it was his girlfriend. So that's tag number one, super cute, super quick. And I just punched the deer from Crumb Cake cardstock. Now, if you have some of the craft paper, that would be cute too. And I decided not to stamp their little faces or anything, just, um, you know, just left it kind of artsy like that. Okay, that is tag number one. And we will move on to our second tag. So this time is when I'm pulling in some other products. And I have had to cut a couple of these little glitter hearts out of the red glimmer paper because I couldn't find them. And guess what I found over on the side of my table just now. So this is our second tag. And again, using those stylish shapes, dies, and then I'll tell you where that little heart comes from in just a minute. So this is that same tag cut from the designer series paper. This has a stripe pattern, but I kind of cut it at an angle. And I love putting um, white paper on white paper. Love the look of that when you use dimensionals and give it that depth. So let's do that. 
So again, stylish shape styles, but you could use your trimmer and you could cut the square as well as the tag. You don't have to have all of the things to make cute projects. Now, if you need things and you want to order them, I would love to have you order them, but I just want you to know that you can still do this if you don't have all of the supplies that I do. So I thought this was a sweet sentiment too, from our home to yours. And I'm going to grab my Stampin' Seal Plus and just put a little on the tag. And then I found it easiest to flip this over because the stripes being a little bit at an angle, I thought that gave it a cute effect, but I, it kind of played a trick on my eyes. So I just turned it over and did it like this. That seemed to work well for me to try to get it straight on the tag. And I think I did a, not a great job. Let's try that again. Let's try it again. It worked well the first time, y'all. And I think it's a good idea. Just gotta execute. Okay, that time I think I did a little bit better. And I thought I lost my little baby heart again. So where does this little heart come from? These are the Give It A Whirl die set. Now I've used these some, but it's been mainly to use the little components, the clouds, the hearts, the components to it. So these actually make little spinner cards and I am going to make a crafty resolution and I'm gonna say it on camera so you guys can hold me accountable. I'm gonna use these dies. I purchased them, oh gosh, right away when they came out and I have not made a little spinner card. So it actually has a window and you can show like three different little uh, designs. So I'm gonna pick a stamp set out of the new catalog and I am going to make a spinner card. But until then, this is an amazing little heart that I think looks super cute. And I'll put my dimensional there and then add my little heart from the red glimmer paper. And it just gives it that little pop of color. And then I used, again, my Evening Evergreen Open Weave Ribbon because I love it so much. It's really, really pretty. And I know I've told you guys this before, but Evening Evergreen is an in color that if Stampin' Up! does things like they've done in the past, it should retire at the end of April. And I'm going to really be sad to see it go. I think I've already begun the grieving process. <laughs> it's just an amazing green. Wow, I got that pretty much even. I'm going to leave that alone and show you that tag number two is done. I love this one. I hope you guys like it. Just going to check right quick. It looks like everything is working properly. Yay. So we'll set this one aside and move on to number three. So this one is the one that's using this adorable stamp set. We did stamp class with this. I think it was October, the um, cottage wreath, and then the dies that go with it. So much fun. We made a couple of fall cards, a Halloween card, and a Christmas card in that class. So yes, I think that was October stamp class. These dies are amazing. And even if you just get the dies, you would definitely love using them. So again, the, I'm just pulling a couple of little components from these dies. I'm pulling this wreath, and then there is the cutest little bow. And you've got a die that cuts this bow, but you've also got a die that cuts a little intricate bow and you can cut it from cardstock and you don't have to stamp. So you've got options. Super cute set. This is carrying over. So we'll get to keep on using it and I love that. So let me again pull my pieces out. I'll show you the tag first and um, 
I thought this one turned out really, really pretty. And I used the Evening Evergreen window pane ribbon on this one. Thought that added a really cute touch. So originally I was going to put a scallop circle behind my sentiment and then I thought, let me see if that circle will fit on the wreath. And it doesn't show much, but I love it. It looks really cute. And I don't know if the camera will really show you that there is stitching on like the circle, there's stitching on the tag. It just adds that little bit of interest. Now this is a super easy little tag. I did cut the poinsettia paper that's so, so pretty. And I'm just going to put a little bead of glue in a couple places around the edge of my circle. And then I'm going to put it on my wreath and get it kind of lined up. So it's kind of irregular because the way the wreath is, and I thought that just really gave it a lot of interest, made it super cute. So I was really happy with this one. Put just a little bit more glue. And then we're able to put this onto our tag. Now you could really put it, you know, wherever you want. You may want it a little bit higher than I did, a little bit lower, whatever works for you. But again, super, super simple, but it turns out so pretty. Very, very classic Christmas, isn't it? Now for this one, I wanted to add the bow, but I wanted to stamp it, and it just gives it such a cute look. I'm going to grab some glue dots and I'm actually just going to put them over on this one side because it's going to hang off the tag just a little bit and I'm, I'm good with that. I like that. I'm putting it right over here and then the other thing that I haven't done so far is add any bling on any of these tags so we may go back and add some bling. Look at how quick and easy this one was. And I really like this one. This one may be my favorite. Not sure yet. But so, so cute, isn't it? And such a sweet sentiment, too. Okay, y'all, I have one more, and it is super simple, and it is using the um, Stylish Shape Styles. And I really, really like the fall -a -la. Well... There it is. Almost lost it. I really like the follow law sentiment. And I thought this would make a cute little tag. Just two of the banners, the sentiment stamped on one, and then the other larger banner. And I just took that ribbon and layered it on. So I'm going to put a little bit of Stampin' Seal Plus down the center of this banner. And let me see if I can do this again so it was a little bit futzy but i thought it looked really really cute now i don't remember yeah i think i did it this way i just kind of tacked that down and came across because if you'll notice on this tag it almost looks like a little loop from either side and this is how i did it just came across and then I want to cut that off so it's a little bit easier to work with. I'm not using it from the bolt, and that's probably too much ribbon. And I'm coming back over again. And this time I'm going to put a little glue dot on the end of the ribbon. Just use my scissors, my snips, to pick up a glue dot. So that when I fold that back, I can get it pretty much right where I want it. It's a little bit futzy, but I thought this turned out really cute. Let me know what you guys think. And then I get to use my follow law. 
So we'll grab some dimensionals. Where did I put the dimensionals? Where'd Mama put the dimensionals, Oliver? Well, there they are. I buried them. And I'm using three, which is a little bit much, but I'm also trying to hold that ribbon down too. I should have grabbed my take your pick. That helps get those dimensional backs off, and I know that. So now I can just take my follow along and get it lined up there and pop that on. And again, it is very simple, but it's super cute, I think. I like that one. Okay, let me bring them all back in. Just to remind you of the tags that we've made today. I love them all. I think they turned out really cute. And I hope you guys like them too. I hope that this will inspire you to make some tags. Um, they're just so much fun. And again, we're able to use up little bits and pieces of designer series paper. Um, we're able to bless some people with some handmade creations that they can use at the holidays and get that enjoyment from um, knowing that they're going to gift them on. I love that. Love that. Okay, let's do just a couple more things. I have received some happy mail but they have been in the form of Christmas cards. So I have them displayed, so I'm not able to share them right now, but I will um, after Christmas and show you. But I've received several and they're just beautiful. I love the handmade Christmas cards. Now each week um, I do a little giveaway and I absolutely love doing this because it is a little time for me to give back to you guys. Y'all are so good to me. You're so supportive of me and my channel and my Facebook page, and I appreciate you so much. And I have seen a lot of growth recently, and um, I just appreciate you so much. I know you're sharing with friends. Like I said, we had lots of shares last week of my video. I do upload it to YouTube as well, and I have gotten some new subscribers. I'm trying to build my YouTube channel um, and Facebook. You know, we just never know. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket with Facebook. Um, I want to be growing in different places. So if you are not following me over on YouTube, it's um, at Stamp with CT or under Carrie Todd. Love to have you there as well. I do sometimes post things there first, but that's another crafty resolution that I'm going to do more on my YouTube channel next year in 2023. So, in order to um, continue growing, I need your help, and I appreciate your help. When you send up a heart, when you give me a thumbs up, when you like and subscribe and follow and do all of the Facebook and YouTube things, it really, really helps me. And I couldn't do any of this without you guys, and I know that. So, I love being able to do just a little something each week. So, this past week, I had these awesome... Um, adhesive back swirl embellishments and these are already sold out and so I am super excited for Judy Cleveland she watches my videos every week and is usually on the replay which is awesome I love having the replay crew love having people here live but I know 10 a.m. Central Time may not be the best time for everybody, but that's what time I need to do the video. So anyway, congratulations, Judy. Thank you for your comment. Thank you to everyone that commented, shared, and liked. And then this week, I've got these seasonal adhesive back sequins, and these are really cool. I've used these a good bit this year, and they're retiring. Um, but they're just awesome, and you can use them on so many product projects. Even though it says seasonal, there are such um, pretty colors that you can really use them. They're so versatile. So this is our giveaway for this week. So just leave me a comment, hit that thumbs up or heart, subscribe, uh, ring that notification bell over on YouTube. All of that will enter you for a chance to win this prize, and I appreciate y'all so much. Um, always want to let you know how much I appreciate your support. One announcement, well, a couple of announcements. 
One is that the last chance list um, went live, gosh, I guess that was last Tuesday. Oh, it's been so busy. But this beautiful holiday catalog, our July to December mini catalog, it is going away, which makes me sad because a lot of awesome products are retiring. A lot have already sold out. What is retiring, what is discounted, all of that is while supplies last. And I've seen several of you placing an order and getting some fabulous deals. I'm so excited for you. If you haven't checked that out, you can visit stampwithct.stampinup.net and you can shop there and you can shop for others, shop for yourself, but you can get some really great deals. Now, why does Stampin' Up need to retire products? For one thing, we're going to be moving into a new season of crafting. We're going to have um, you know, our winter um, holidays. We're going to have Valentine's Day. We're going to have Easter in the spring, and then we'll move into more spring projects. And as crafters, we kind of work ahead. So we need some new products coming, right? So we have this beautiful mini catalog that will be um, available starting in January. Now, I have ordered catalogs for my customers. They're not here just yet, but I'll be sending those out. If you've placed an order in the last six months, you're already on my list. If you don't have a demonstrator you purchase from and work with, or you haven't purchased in a while, just message me and I'll tell you how you can get one of these catalogs. Love to send one to you. So we need to make room in the warehouse for these new products, right? So this is our new catalog. Can't show you the inside just yet, but it will start January the 4th. And we will also have celebration January and February. So this is free gifts with purchase. Awesome, awesome. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that um, later on in the month. Okay, I think that's it for now. I really appreciate you guys being here and um, just all the support you give. I love what I do. I love sharing ideas. And I love when you share with me what you have created. So I like to make projects that I know that you can easily replicate and duplicate. And so I hope you will. I hope you'll make some tags. Thanks, y'all.